welcome back to the channel. I'm Annette from Surplus for Business and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay. Today I'd like to show you some tips and techniques but specifically how to create a variation listing on eBay. This is something that many people think is very confusing and difficult. It's actually not so hard and uh, I'd like to show you how to do that. This was something that was specifically requested from Michael Orr who is a subscriber. Thanks Mike. And I hope you like this uh, video. If you have any questions or any other suggestions about videos you're interested in, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll like the video. And let's get down to business. We'll get to the computer and I'll show you how we get it done. Okay. So start on the home page. My eBay. Selling. Uh, go to listings and create a listing. You'll enter what you're looking for and today we're going to sell a Lennox uh, beaded silverware. So it's flatware. Okay, and we need to check the category, which is correct, but I want to continue without a match because we're not going to use the other people's listings. These items are used. Continue to a listing. Okay, now we're going to look over this and I want to make sure that the variation is on this page because it's not on every single page. If you don't have a store, it won't be there. And if you are not selling at a fixed price, it won't be. But you can see here it is. The variation is available. And also there are some cases where the variation is not available on certain items in eBay. But for silverware, for t-shirts and so forth, we have no problem. This is available. So we're going to go through this variations now. Okay, and this is where you'll select what it is you're selling. Um, I have the silverware, the dinner fork, dinner knife, dinner spoon, and the teaspoon. But if you didn't have an option there, you could add it at the top. Next. We're going to add the photos. Now these are the default photos. So it'll be the first photos that a person sees when they look at your listing. So I have three default photos that will come up with an overview. And then we add individual photos for the dinner fork, dinner knife, dinner spoon, etc. And what's great is you can add up to 12 photos for each individual item. So I'll put the dinner fork photos on. And here they are coming through. And then I have a couple more shots there I'd like to put in. And then you'll see I'll add the dinner knife. And I'll speed this up just a little bit because it's kind of slow watching me do all of this. And you know, having the opportunity to add all these additional photos is awesome. So you can really have a lot of different pictures. Next, you'll see the combinations down below that I have the dinner fork, knife, dinner spoon, and teaspoons. You can enter how many you have, the price, the skew, and if you have that. And if there's a mistake, you can delete it also. So I have four dinner forks and for simplicity let's make it $4.95 on all of these. Um, I've got four of each and you just fill it in here. It's very simple. And save it and that'll close. It'll bring you back to the main page. I like to do the variation first then go through and fill in all of the regular details you have. If you have a video you can put it in, put your title in, um, use all the characters if you can. I don't use any subtitles. My store category I have a se selection for silverware and then your item required things that you need to fill in. So go through and select all of your details for whatever it is that you're selling. And you'll see here. I 
There's not an option for everything, but it's pretty good. And then you'll see the variations are listed there. The price, there's 16 items because I had four four times. Enter your description. And for this, I use a flat rate shipping, $5 for each item, $1 more. So I have to modify that on the shipping details. And I just select that I don't know the details and make it a flat rate for silverware or maybe even a t-shirt. That might be a great deal to do for you. And I'm going to ship those first class. I don't promote the listing. I don't do any of these uh, add-ons. I seem to have pretty good success rate, so I don't feel I need that. And then just go ahead and list it. Well, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the preview. And you can see, but in the preview, you're not able to pull down the tab to see the options, but that's what it'll look like. And then we'll go ahead and list it. generating and it's live. So now that we've got it, let's take a look at it. We'll view the listing and you see the overview photo, which is nice. People can select what they want. A dinner fork, I have four available, the price. I ship internationally, it's all in there. And we have successfully created a variable listing. And this is a really great feature. I hope it'll make your life easy and you're able to create these. Thanks for watching. Well, we completed that video and I hope you now understand how to create variation listings on eBay. They're not so difficult. Thanks again to Mike for uh, the recommendation. Others, if you have any interest in certain learning different things, please leave a comment down below. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll like. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks again.